Okay, I fancy some beef tonight and a few steaks. So, that's how I buy my beef. Good bit of fat on it. It's a silver side. Oh, this is a lump. bit of perspective. It's a can of Pepsi. And no, I don't drink Pepsi, it's the missus. Anyway, this here is 13, 13 pounds of beef in weight. 13 pounds. Now that cost me, I buy it from the, I get it at trade price. This is where they, um, you know, sell to restaurants. When they sell directly to caterers and other businesses, then to sell to the public. So I go directly there, and we can all do that. Save a lot of money. So that's £13 in weight, and that cost me £38 in money. So that's about $58. So that is a good deal. Now I'm going to chop this up. I'm a family of five, but I'm four of make meals, you know. So I'll cut it there, and that will be a roasting joint, and then I'll cut the rest of that meat, or however I want it, then backpack it and freeze it. But that's a cheap way of getting decent beef, I said this is silver side. It's a serious piece of kit. Um, if you ever, don't ever buy anything from the big stores, you know, here we've got textiles. Super big shops and never buy from them because they don't um, hang the beef properly. It goes for miles on transport, you know, it, and it tastes like crap. And it costs a fortune. So buy it this way directly. They'll butcher it, they butcher it and have it delivered. Then they hang it on site and then they then they go ahead and butcher it and cut it into, um, into its uh, different pieces, portions, whatever and uh, then they backpack them fresh. This has never been frozen. It's been hung for just over a month and a half. And, um, you know, then they sell to restaurants, but they've always got a little shop. You can always go in. So a lot of people don't know that. It's a it's um, I guess about 60, 70 pounds if you were bought from a shop. Um, so when you see these, these commercial butchers, find out, search around the internet, find your local one, go down and ask them. And then what I do is I get bags of dog bones off them as well. So I've got, you know, nice bones, marrow and stuff for my dogs. Then it's a little tip to get top notch beef at ridiculously cheap prices. Okay, right. Well, this is what I've been doing. I've been laying concrete. This is all going to be gravel, so this is all concrete. This was mud before. Put a fence up. That's my gate. Made that. Pete will probably be spitting fire, saying I should have claimed it and stuff, but there we are. Put that fence up. And I built that shed. Put a new roof on it just the other day. I haven't cemented the, the uh, keystones at the top yet, but it's still dry. That's my shed. But anyway, this is all really gravel. And these are some of my pen sections, because they're going to go with my land soon. These, these you build into any shape you want, and that will keep chickens in and stuff like that. If you ever make these, put corrugated iron at the bottom. Because it will um, it won't rot so quick. They stay good. They need a touch up, but they're good to go. So make a square out of them. Just put your chickens in. Put a box so they got somewhere to go, and you're laughing. Anyway, see you later.